So whether they're trying to get out and maybe grab an ice cream cone with the kiddos, the grandkids, because it is in fact the last weekend of July, which is kind of crazy to put in perspective as the month of August starts on Monday, folks. Today, though, we're starting out with a little extra cloud cover. We will get sunnier as we head throughout the day, but it is going to be absolutely gorgeous. If you don't have plans yet today, please make them, or if you don't have plans for the weekend yet, also make them. Today is going to be beautiful nonetheless, but also another great day tomorrow if you can't get out and enjoy today because you already got something booked on up. Get out and enjoy and also take advantage of opening up the windows today as well as tomorrow. Let some refreshing air in because our humidity levels are definitely a little bit lower and they're only going to get a little bit lower than what we're sitting at today for tomorrow. And beyond that, we start to heat things back up as we head through next week. So why the relief in place right now? Well, you can see this big blue line kind of tagged with triangles, and that's a cold front. It swept on through overnight, and it's kind of still pushing throughout the Buckeye State right now, and that is ushering in some kind of refreshing air, cooler air, drier air, all of the above. But this big blue H out to the west, this is what is going to bring us the sunshine, the blue skies, and honestly, it's not just going to be for the rest of today. It's going to be in control of our forecast for the rest of the weekend. So we are starting off the day in the 60s, if not in the 70s, so not too shabby of a start on a Friday morning nonetheless, but it is even in the low 60s right now in Millersburg. It is 63 degrees right there. The urban heat island effect, though, putting in some work from the downtown areas for not only the metro area of Cleveland, but also the downtown areas of like the Akron Canton situation, too, because you see yesterday with the sunshine in place, all of that pavement, the buildings there, they absorb all the heat and then slowly release that as we head through the morning. So that's why those two readings are awfully higher than the rest of the area. When it comes to how it feels, though our dew point has dropped back into the 50s if not the 60s the lower 60s I should mention because this time yesterday we were waking up to dew point readings right around 70 degrees now that measures the moisture content in the air and it was definitely around folks yesterday we're starting off drier this morning so go ahead and maybe open the patio door let some of that fresh air in already I say tonight is a window open kind of night maybe you're an outdoor exercise kind of person no weather worries whatsoever today and your national designer on the hour forecast High temperatures today are going to be just shy of where we're sitting in the mid 80s, though. We're going to be in the low 80s for most of the area. A whole lot of sunshine across northeast Ohio. And when it comes to those humidity levels, well, as I mentioned, they have dropped. Not too frizzy of a hair day, not too bad of a hair day, as my hair itself is down in full curl effect. As we head through the next six to 10 days, though, the Climate Prediction Center outlooks us trending above normal. Normal for this time of the year, the low to mid 80s for us. So in your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, You'll notice we go up by Monday. We're closer to 90 degrees. Our next chance for rain happens late Monday into Tuesday. And then we've got two 90 degree days in the extended forecast. Things get toasty. Enjoy the refreshing air while we have it in place. Dave.